just a couple every generation. I wasn't supposed to make it out with the code of matrix. And when they get to speak, it's like a coded language. Reminds me that they strengthen all the stolen greatness. We used to got the mobile station. Full circle, mobile motivation. My self-educated through negotiations. Got these sharks that I'm sitting at this table with afraid to baby. No 10 on my Mercedes, that's for inspiration. It's on my neck like ladies. Boy, I saw slots and they have no my demonstration. Born and raised, y'all affiliated. It's really greatness. Riding round like I really made it. From the borough of Queens, we're at the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Philadelphia Phillies and the New York Mets. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Jason Vargas will be on the bump for game two of the series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, Matt, thanks. Hey, coming on is lefty Jason Vargas. Not an overpowering guy. 86 to 89 miles an hour. Good sinking action on the fastball. Throws the split finger and the slider. His best secondary pitch is the split finger, and you'll know he's if he's on You're early, tonight, especially up, against right-handed hitters. Fielder. He'll throw that Those split finger, and if he's around. getting a lot of ground balls, you know that Jason Vargas brought his A game. And the first pitch of the ball game here is taken for a cold strike one. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Now a swing and a miss, and things are not looking real promising here. Down 0 and 2. A windup and the 0 2 pitch. And a fastball just a bit up. Oof, and we are in for some tough conditions tonight. 41 degrees at game time. He pulls this one into right, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. You don't see too many curveballs that want to start in and stay in. That definitely backed up on the pitcher. He's lucky he only got away with a single right here. Up next will be Nick Williams as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And he's looking to get it going off to a bit of a slow start this year. A one pitch on its way. Chopped weakly to the left. He's got to hurry. He turns and goes to second, and they do get the out there. That was kind of a high degree of difficulty play that time. You see the off balance throw to second base, and he couldn't get a lot on it, but they did get the out. Stepping in now, Cesar Hernandez. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. The 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Williams stands at first with one out. And he won't offer it that too high one and two. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes in this one Mr. James Kingsley. Dan I know I was an offensive player but I'm OK being a pitcher's umpire. If you're going to consistently pound that outer half. James Kingsley's usually going to give it to you. Hey, listen, there's a reason why the pitchers throughout the league, they call him the king of the hill. You move the ball a little bit off the strike zone, he's not afraid to put that arm up. He's a very good pitcher's umpire. With that, here's the starting lineup for the visiting Philadelphia Phillies. 
Dero, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Well, Matt, the key for me to success for this lineup is they got to be willing to come through in big spots. They got to stick to the game plan. Somebody's going to have to get a knock with two outs and find a way to not leave base runner stranded. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins. He takes his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. Hoskins behind the count 0 and 2. No balls, two strikes. Here it comes on nothing and two. And he'll try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. Philly strand one. Now the Mets will step up for their first shot in a scoreless ball game. Nick Pavetta is ready to go as he's on the mound for the Phils. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, it just goes to show you how tough it is to pitch in today's game. This guy has a career ERA over five. At times he can be good, and at times he can be really, really bad. It'll be interesting to see which guy shows up in this one here today. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Jose Reyes. Here comes the first pitch. Back up the middle. And that is going to get on through. So Reyes is aboard on a leadoff hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Nice execution right there, Dan. Kept his front shoulder in, kept his hands inside the baseball, and ripped the base hit up the middle. And if you're a pitcher right there, you can't get discouraged. Sometimes, even when you make a good pitch, the ball is going to find a hole somewhere. That one right up the middle. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit out towards second. He's right there. Rosales back to first, and that'll take care of Cabrera. It's a double play. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Danny, who stands out to you? Well, I'm looking forward to watching Adrian Gonzalez. He's got over a thousand RBIs. He's already proved he's a clutch hitter. He knows how to drive in big runs when it counts. So if the situation comes up in this game, I'm looking to watch how he goes to work in the clutch. Digging in now, Michael Conforto looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. First pitch on its way. And there's one well above the zone for a ball. These Phillies as they enter play here tonight, fellas. It's been a promising start to the new year as they've taken three of the first four contests. Yeah, Matty, I'm, I, I've been really impressed with this team, especially on the recent road trip to start to it. They're three and one after four games, playing really fundamentally sound baseball from offense to defense pitching. It's all coming together for this group. To one and two now. Two out, nobody on. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Just missed a home run to the deepest part of the yard. It's off the wall. And the throw in gets away from him. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. This thing stays in the park, but let me tell you something. He absolutely crushed this thing. This park is no bandbox. It takes a lot to get one out of here, and he almost does it. It carried a long time and hit it halfway up the wall for a long double. Here's your one to Cespedes. 
hit down the third base line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Good lead off a second there. Now the pitch. There's a fastball that just misses. Ball one. Boy, good inside fastball right there. Trying to tie the hitter up, trying to keep him from getting those arms extended. A pitcher's pitch. The 1 1 home. Squared that one up just a little late. A swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Williams racing back. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. It's a two run shot here for Joanna Cespedes. Second home run early in the year as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. Time and the side is retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Don't go anywhere. More Tuesday night baseball after this. Here's Carlos Santana now. He's ready for his first at bat of his early season contest. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Here comes the first pitch. There's a strike. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Here it comes, 0-2. And, and a neck-high fastball that time. Right there is a temptation pitch. Power hitters like this are looking for pitches that they can drive. So that may have been one where he was trying to get him to chase up above the zone a little bit. The one two is an off speed pitch taken for a ball. I think he's shown you right there. He was trying to put you away with the off speed pitch. Have to be leery of that right there and take pull side away. That'll keep you on all stuff fastballs and the off speed hit down the line at first. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. Grounded to the right. And that is through into right field for a single. No, he's safe. And that certainly represents a career milestone. Hit number 1,000. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 1,000 isn't a milestone that's going to get everyone talking. But as an individual, you have to feel pretty good about it. He'll definitely be wanting that ball for his trophy case. Standing in now, Cameron Rupp. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. Santana on at first, nobody out. 
Grounded back up the middle to Cabrera for one. Back to Adrian, and it's a double play. Batting seventh, third baseman number seven, Michael Franco. Settling in now, Michael Franco. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And that one stayed too low, apparently. The 1 0 home. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. The one two is a swing and a high pop up. Gonzalez is there. He makes the play and that'll end the inning. Phillies go down quietly there. They're still down. It's two nothing. Here's Todd Frazier now. Set to lead off the home half of the second. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. First pitch on its way. Low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Drives it out to deep right center field. And a dive, but he can't pull it in out in right center. He hit the corner and tries for third. The relay throw, and he is in there. And that's the chance you take when you lay out for a ball like that. You make the play, and you're a hero on the highlight shows. You miss it, and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. Here's Adrian now. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. Here's the first pitch to him. Line drive to center field. Herrera is there and that should be deep enough to score the run and a surprising decision there as he holds on at third base. So here's how the Phillies are positioned defensively and this team they're not going to be moving around as much as some of the new age teams the shifting and moving the third baseman over second base and the right fielder to play third base. This is going to be your stationary team trusting pitchers to execute pitches. Stepping in, Travis Darno. He'll get to take his first cuts here. He's set. Here it comes. Strike one to start the at bat. It's a ball and a strike. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam in with that running action on that two seam fastball. One out and a runner on third. Oh. 
no offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. And that one just missed outside. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. Well, got some might run. say a walk there is okay Enter. because you've got first Enter. base open, Marcus. but he's been struggling out there. And if you're going to work around hitters, you don't want to work around hitters in the bottom of the lineup. So here's the Mets pitcher, Jason Vargas, and their runners at the corners now. First offering on its way. A ball of no strikes. First and third, you know he's going to do everything he can on the mound to roll up a double play ball. On the other side, he's got to be looking for a mistake up in the zone that he can drive in the air and pick up a sack fly at the very least. A 1 0 delivery. One ball, one strike to count. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Hit on the ground is short. Oh, what a stop on the slide. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Your basic 6 4 3 will get him out of danger. Back with more here on a Tuesday night after this. Leading off the inning, Leading Adam the Rosales, Philly. as they'll look to get something going Adam here and even this game up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. Swing and a miss way behind the big fastball. Rosales hails from the Prairie State of Illinois. His contract is set to expire at the end of this season, so he may end up hitting the market this winter. You know, Matty, I know he's in the final year of his contract, but he's playing to expectations, to be honest with you. I know he, need, he wants to turn it up a little bit, though, as he approaches the end of the season and make that salary push as he heads towards free agency again. The bouncer to the left side. And a great athletic play to get him. Man, wow. Batting ninth for pitcher number 43, Nick Pavetta. Digging in now for Philadelphia, Nick Pavetta, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss just behind a lively fastball. Yeah, Maddie, he's very late on that first pitch. I, I, I got to think he was guessing off speed. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Reyes has a play. Two gone. Now batting. Center fielder, Odubo Herrera. Here's the center fielder Odubel Herrera one for one after a single this first time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey. Takes a knee high fastball. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. In front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Now here it comes. 
That's and a it's one and two. Well, this one is an approach we've seen That's him great. use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. The one two. Popped him up. Vargas in foul ground. And that's the third out. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down two to nothing. Back to the top of the order now. And stepping in is the shortstop, Jose Reyes. Jose Reyes. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Now the 1 0. Skied down the left field line. Hoskins moves over near the line as he puts it away for the first out of the inning. The batter, number 13, second baseman, as Dribble Cabrera. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here comes the first pitch. Softly hit toward the hole. Santana charging in on it, and he'll step on first for the out, three unassisted. The left fielder, number 30, Michael Conforto. Digging in to try it again, Michael Conforto. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Zero. Swung on and missed, outclassed by that fastball for a strike. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. And he misses with it one and one. Two out, nobody on. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And he pushed it just a bit too much. It'll wind up a foul ball. The one two is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Down in order go the Mets as they're unable to add to their two nothing lead. Leading off the inning, Nick Williams. And they'll need him to get something going here. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. You can tell this offense is getting frustrated, but this might be one you have to shower off. When a guy's locating like this, fastball at the knees and to both corners, it's going to be tough for them to do anything with it. Grounded up the first baseline. Uh, this will get foul for strike two. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And the changeup just missed the inside corner. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. The 2 2. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up next for Philadelphia, second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Ready for another chance? Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A changeup that catches the corner for strike one. The wind up and the 0 1. Behind 0 2 now. 
That fastball must have a little late life on it because that was right in a wheelhouse and he still wasn't able to get good wood on it. A little bouncer that winds up foul. The next 0 2. Freezes him, a strikeout looking. Pretty clear he didn't like the call there on the outside part of the plate, but probably too good to take, and he's down on strikes for the second time. Yeah, that pitch was right on the black. Beautiful pitch. And even if we had robot umps, he'd still be out. But the only difference would be he wouldn't be able to complain about it. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. 0 for 1 after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Right over the middle, knee high. Hey, two outs, nobody on, and a power hitter up. This is where, as a pitcher, you got to use the hitter's aggression against him. Get him to fish a little bit. Something a little more out of the zone than normal. That's a and that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Hey. Fastball called strike. One and two. The one two. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. The one two is laid off for ball two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of a game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. And he swings on top of one here and chops it foul right at home plate. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Hit in the air toward the gap in right center. After it is Cespedes. And that's the third out. Phillies down in order. They trail it here two to nothing. Trying to pick things up where we left Leading off. Joanna Cespedes. And remember, he hit that two run homer his first time up. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton, he didn't hit it a country mile, but hey, listen, a home run is a home run. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Hit to short. Rosales comes up with it. Throw on to first by Rosales, gets him, one gone. Now batting, right fielder. Bruce. Next up for New York, Jay Bruce comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat. Up around the face. The 1 0 is in there for strike one. Two runs, four hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Lined is short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. Third baseman, number 21, Don Frazier. Here's Todd Frazier now. He found his way over to third via a triple in his first at bat. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Comes right after him with a fastball for a strike. 
Hey, you think back to the early innings right there. You thought this guy would have been hitting the showers. A credit to him. He's been able to regroup, find his mechanics, and find a way to stay in this game. That's it to short. Does he have another one, two, three inning? He does. Eight in a row he's set down, and the side is retired. Mets go down one, two, three. They're up two to nothing. So now Carlos Santana, a base hit in his first trip. First baseman, Carlos Santana. First delivery to him on the way. Belt high and right down the middle for a strike. Now here's the pitch. Behind 0 and 2 now. A wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two seamer, and that's out number one. Didn't mess around much in that at bat, Dan. No, that was pretty impressive, Matt. I really like a pitcher that trusts and works off his fastball. Right there, he decided he didn't need to use anything else. Three straight heaters and go grab some bench. In now, Cameron Rupp. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. And a fastball just below the knees, ball one. Behind a changeup, if you can imagine, for a strike. Hey, I can understand this batter's frustration right here. He's trying to be aggressive and get something going for his team. They are getting shut out in the fifth inning, but that's exactly why they're getting shut out. You need to keyhole and stay on the attack and make this pitcher come in the middle of the plate. Still one and two. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time, out number two. I'll tell you, he looks really dialed in on the bump right there. He's got a shutout going, and he really seems to have this lineup off balance. Even when he challenges them up in the zone, they don't have an answer for it. Digging in for his second at bat, Michael Franco. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. First pitch on its way. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. A fastball that just misses inside. Here's the 1 and 1 delivery. Good changeup that time, but he wouldn't bite on it. What we're seeing here is a guy getting pitched to very carefully. It doesn't matter that there's two outs and nobody on. He's a threat to score even when he's standing in the batter's box. Franco ahead with a three and one count now. Three and one pitch. He loses him on ball four. Well, he loses him there, but that's just the first walk he's given up, along with a couple of hits. So his command has been pretty solid so far. Striding in once again, Adam Rosales. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. 
First delivery to him on the way. Fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. From the stretch. And that's waved at and missed one and one. I'll tell you, if I'm pitching right now, I'm not throwing anything near the strike zone until these guys prove they can lay off it. They're just being way too aggressive. Now the one and one pitch. Left side. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And now this is bobbled and left. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. Into the box, Nick Pavetta. He swings and grounds it to short. Scooped up on the backhand. Throw on to first is in time, and the Phillies are turned away. They get nothing out of this situation as the inning is over. Here's Adrian now. He'll lead things off as we begin the home fifth. First baseman, Adrian Gonzalez. First pitch on its way. A breaking ball taken at the knees for strike one. We're moving along in this one heading into the middle innings. This guy continuing to pitch well and one of the reasons why first pitch strike ratio over 70 percent up to this point in this game. A wind up and the 0 1 behind 0 and 2 now. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. Slapped hard the opposite way. And Gonzalez is going to have himself a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Wow, I'm shocked he even pulled the trigger on that pitch. He might have been fooled right there, but he was able to keep his hands back and scramble a good pitch for a base hit. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. He drew a base on balls his first time up. He's set and the pitch takes a knee high fastball. Here comes the 0 1 and a breaking ball in the dirt that time for a ball. Bouncer up the middle. A diving try, but it's through into the outfield. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line them. Drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment. Able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Stepping in now, Jason Vargas. Yes, he'll take a look at ball one. Thank you. 
grounded down the third baseline but a foul ball one and one. And that one just missed outside. Well I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. Gonzalez at second Darno on at first with nobody out. Here now the 2 2 on the ground is short this could be two backhanded. Uh, but the feet of the second baseman is a wild one. And he'll come in to score from second base. And that is a direct result, obviously, of that 4 4 throw. Usually these guys turn the 6 4 3 double play in their sleep. But it looks like he rushed the feed there and it sailed over the second baseman's head. Here's the shortstop now Jose Reyes as he'll take a look at a high strike that time it's nothing in one a hit in two tries for him so far. One and one to the Mets leadoff hitter. You know guys these hitters have had some great looks at that slider so far and clearly they're all on the same page. The plan is simple lay off that slider and make him bring up something straight in the strike zone. A one one misses for the second ball. A lot of times you see guys get too aggressive and try to do too much at the plate with guys on but right here he's doing a great job of waiting on the right pitch. Got himself ahead in the count now. Now a ball lined to the left side. But foul. Runners at second and third here. Nobody out. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Hoskins waits on it. He's got it one away. And he might have thought about it at third, but with one away, decides not to risk it. The batter, number 13, second baseman, has dribble, Cabrera. Stepping in and ready for another shot as dribble Cabrera. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. He takes a fastball on the inside corner. The 0 1 on its way. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. Missed with a slider. That's a great take right there. You knew the pitcher was going to try and expand the zone 0 2 in a big spot, and he was able to spit on that one. Hopefully, get something in the heart of the plate this pitch. Ball two. two Here now the 2 2 doesn't get the zone count full now for the guy in the mound. This is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches and this a B hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment.
Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. The catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And that'll bring home another as they open it up to a 4 nothing advantage now. Boy, this one looked like it was headed for extra bases off the bat. Instead, a line drive bullet caught in the alley, but he does end up getting a sacrifice fly. Into the box now, Michael Conforto lifted the other way to left center. Herrera on the run. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. So two runs on two hits, two errors in the inning, and a runner left on. Five innings complete. The Mets lead this one four to nothing. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. And Dan, he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Here's the pitch. Yeah. And he starts him out with a strike on the outer half. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. High fly ball out to straightaway center. There to take it is Cespedes, is one away. The right fielder, number five, Nick Williams. Up next will be Nick Williams. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First offering on its way. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. He's ready. Here's the 0 1. And the changeup is way low that time. One one home hit hard on the ground is short right there is Reyes throw in time at first for route number two now batting second baseman Cesar Hernandez digging in to try it again Cesar Hernandez 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a liner. And that's in there. So perhaps some life here with two men out. Hey, they say in this game you better have a short memory. Well, that's obviously the case with this batter. He came into that third at bat after getting his ticket punched twice and was able to get a single. Ready for another shot now. Reese Hoskins. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Fouled away. Well, that was a big two out single we just saw, and for pretty obvious reasons. The inning went from totally under control to now. He's got to deal with some dangerous hitters here with a runner on base and this is how two out rallies start. Comes set and the 0 1 hard hit ball to second and there's his first base hit in this one. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. 
Well, D roll that looked like a pretty easy inning to start all of a sudden two outs and back to back singles runners at first and third. Yeah, they put traffic on them. I, I guess I would throw it back at you, Dan. You get two quick outs right there and then you get two base hit knocks. Are you even concerning yourself with the traffic on the bases or are you just trying to execute that next bit? You know what happens a lot of times, D roll you lose concentration. You get the first two out in the inning. You think, hey, I'm going to breeze through this and get this third guy out. Next thing you know, first and third and two out, you have to make some good pitches. He's one for two in this one. On its way, the 0 1 pitch. Next pitch chopped foul right at home plate, and he's behind nothing and two now. Runners on first and third, two away. In the dirt and blocked behind the plate. Good work there to prevent any advance. It's one and two. The 1 2. On the ground now for Adrian over at first. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Phillies leave a couple. They trail here four to nothing. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Phillies, number 46. And Here's your one Cespedes. Comes in one for two Lee with that home run he hit earlier. You know, Madden, every team has that one guy, and Yoenis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets. Completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. First pitch coming. Here it is. Hits this one hard the other way. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. Everybody's different coming out of spring training. Some guys get off the okay. tour and start. Some guys struggle. Right. This Either. is one that struggled, but maybe hey. that single gets him going. Ooh. Here's Jay Bruce now. As the first pitch here's a bit high, it's ball one. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Swing and a miss looked like the slider there, a ball and a strike. Hey. Up in the zone for him, and he takes a cold strike, too. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Rosales on to first, and they turn the double play. Third baseman, number 21, Todd Frazier. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Todd Frazier. He was a ground out victim last time up. First pitch of the at bat on its way. There's a fastball that just misses ball one. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he won't bite at that one either. It's two and oh. Here comes the 2 0 pitch. Too high, and it's three and zero. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. Frazier in front, three balls and a strike. Got to believe he had the green light in that situation. Two outs, three zero count. This guy can certainly handle the bat. That's a perfect situation to let him loose. But I love the fact that he's key holding a certain area and it wasn't what he was looking for. There's ball four. Well, he walked him on five pitches, but that last pitch was really good. He missed down, but only by a hair. When a hitter has a 3 1 count, he can wait until he gets a pitch he loves. Ready once again, Adrian Gonzalez. He singled his last time up. First offering on its way. 
Swing and a little tapper. That's a foul ball. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. And a neck high fastball that time. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. That's a foul ball off to the left, and it moves to 1 and 2. Frazier leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And he'll step off the rubber and go to first. Runner back safely. The one two to third Franco has it and as it turns out the two out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning Mets leave one but they're in front four to nothing. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. Getting set for the seventh inning now with the Mets out on top. But first, let's check out the game summary through the first six innings of baseball. Digging in once again, Cameron Rupp. And he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings down by a bundle it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one up and away to start the inning it's one and oh these guys have got to be frustrated as an offensive unit so far in this one they haven't been able to crack the code on their opponent but it's not like they're getting great pitch to hit either this starter has kept the ball on the corners of the zone all game long and a fastball here that's taken in for ball two. Two well count the pitch and it's fouled away. Now the two one grounder hit hard down the first baseline but this will wind up a foul ball two and two. Hit sharply but foul down the right side. Looking to punch him out again the pitch. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball. Gone. A solo home run here off the bat of big Cameron Ruff. First home run of the campaign for him. As they get on the board it's four to one now. Well, they're still down, but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team. Give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Third baseman, number seven, Michael Franco. In now, Michael Franco. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0-1. It was a walk in his last trip. Hit in the air to center field. Cespedes is there. One away. The batter number nine shortstop Adam Rosales. Digging in and looking for more Adam Rosales. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. First pitch coming here it is. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. The 1 0 home. Hit hard back up the middle. Right there is Reyes. Throw gets him, two down. 
The pitcher number 46, Adam Morgan. Tommy Your Joseph will grab a bat and hit and for the pitcher for the coming, here. Number 19, Tommy Joseph. Now there's a changeup to start him out, but it drops low and away for ball one. Two out, nobody on. A ball and a strike to Tommy Joseph. One ball, one strike. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. So it may be too little too late, but they're on the board here in the late going. Get up and stretch. It's the Mets four and the Phillies one. Francisco Rodriguez will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Francisco Rodriguez. Stepping into the box, Travis Garneau. Up, he scored man. after reaching on a single after. in his last time up. Travis Garneau. From the stretch. That's and a, a fastball just a bit high. No now some play. action in the Phillies bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. The 1 0 home. A ball and a strike now. The 1 1. Liner towards second. And a leaping effort there, but this is down into right center, a base hit. Check that out right there. I love me some of that. Staying inside the baseball, moving it the other way. Sometimes a pitcher can execute his pitch. It doesn't mean the batter can't grab a knock. Brandon Nimmo will move out into the on-deck circle the now as he'll hit for Number the pitcher nine. Vargas. Brandon Nimmo. Grounder down the line at third. But a foul ball here, 0-1. Darno aboard here at first with nobody out. Popped him up. Franco has room in foul territory, and that's the first out of the inning. A shortstop, number seven, Jose Reyes. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this will be a foul ball. Ground ball to second. This could be two. And they'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. The batter number 13, second baseman, and dribble, Cabrera. 
So it's a runner at first with two men out, and that'll bring in the second baseman, Asdrubal Cabrera. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw skips in, and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Two out here and a runner at second. Swinging a ball line softly down the line and left. Foul. But a foul ball, and the count holds it 0 and 2. Hot shot on the ground is short. Rosales is up with it, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Met strand one as they hold on to a four to one lead. Seth Lugo will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Lugo. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Odubel Herrera. He's working on a one for three thus far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Line toward the alley in left center. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Hey, excellent job right there. Leading off the inning with a base hit. We got to keep this line moving. We cannot stop. Nobody can make an out. We have to find a way to put two men, maybe three men, put some pressure on this defense. Up next will be Nick Williams as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Here's the 0 1 pitch and a possible double play ball here for Cabrera and a good throw gets him one gone. Now batting. Second baseman, Cesar Hernandez. Ready for another chance? Cesar Hernandez. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. First offering on its way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Lugo, a six foot four inch right hander. He was taken in the very late rounds back in 2011. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. In there, strike two. You know, if I'm the hitter right here, I'm like, okay, you want to come get some early in the count? I was about to wait you out, but now game on. Herrera, the runner at second with one away. Now a little looper back up the middle, and that's going to fall. A base hit. Herrera is on his way home. Safe at the play as they now trail by only two. Boy, that's an aggressive send there, Dero, because this outfielder has a very strong throwing arm. Yeah, when you're sitting in the hitter's meeting, that's stuff they go over. So every base runner is on notice, knowing that this guy's got one of the strongest arms in the league, but they challenged him, and it worked. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. No balls and a strike to count. Oh, 
0-1. Here it comes. Now a swing and a hard hit grounder. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Both teams with eight hits in this one. Lays off that time and it's one and two. The one two. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Fooled him just enough with that pitch to get him to go around according to the umpire. Sometimes it can be really tough for these big strong guys because once they're committed to swinging it's hard for them to slow their swings down and that appeared to be the case there. Here's Carlos Santana now. Runner goes for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Here's the 1-0. Good swing. Just got to try and straighten that one out. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Here's a called strike on the curveball, one and two. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get me over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. The one two. And he fouls this one off. Safe at third as he moves up on what's likely to be ruled a wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there and now he's only 90 feet away. The 2 2 is laid off and the count runs full. Time to focus here. This game is way too close to be walking, guys, so we'll see if he can make him swing the bat on this next pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Keeps spiking him off. The eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Cespedes will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Phillies get a couple of hits here and it leads to one on the scoreboard. Home half of the eighth straight ahead. It's the Mets four and the Phillies two. Tommy Hunter is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 40, Tommy Hunter. Striding in once again, Michael Conforto. He flew out in his last at bat. Left fielder, Michael Conforto. First pitch coming, here it is. And a breaking ball stays outside. Hunter features one of the biggest yackers in the game. Curveball's got a ton of movement. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. Hit on the ground out to short. Rosales fields it cleanly. Throw on the first by Rosales gets him. One gone. The center fielder number 52, Yoannis Cespedes. Here's Yoannis Cespedes. He's set. Here it comes. And a curveball that gets a swing and a miss and makes him look way behind. He'll be kicking himself tonight if he doesn't come up with a big knock right here. That pitch was in a hittable location, and a hitter of this caliber usually doesn't let that go by. 
There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And it'll fade just at the end and winds up a long foul ball. Cespedes behind a ball and two strikes. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and 2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing the bat at that pitch. Breaking pitch is swung on and hit fouled over to the right side. Getting late 4-2 our score as we play the eighth inning. The one two. Count still at one and two. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. I love these grinder at bats right here. Kind of a la Wade Boggs in the early 80s, where he would just foul off strikes that he didn't want to hit and wait for that pitch he was certainly sitting on and drive it off the monster. Hit back toward the mound. Rosales is there, and there are two away now. Had to protect right there with two strikes, and he just got it off hey. the end of the bat. Not Ooh. much of a problem for the infield at that point. Here's Jay Bruce now as he'll swing and send a chopper out to second and he can't make the play as he overruns it but that should be scored as an infield single. Third baseman number 21. Todd Stepping in Frazier. Todd Frazier. It was a walk in his last trip. Set and the pitch high in the air out to center field and eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over Mets leave one but they still lead this one four to two. The seven train makes it stops just outside City Field as we welcome you back inside for the remainder of leading off for Philadelphia. Catcher Cameron. Jerry's Familia comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Number 27, Jerry Familia. First delivery to him on the way. Ninth yeah. inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. And this will be off the wall out near the 330 marker. I don't care how you find your way on the ninth inning. Anytime you can bring the tying run to the plate, you're doing your job. Now we got the blue looking for the blast. Into the box, Michael Franco. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, 1 and 0. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. A strike to even the count one and one the one one 
very weakly on the ground. That winds up foul for the second strike. Ruff gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Down the first baseline. Well, this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. The batter, number nine, shortstop. Now to the plate, Adam Rosales. Lifetime against Familia. He's hitless in three at bats. First pitch coming, here it is. Leaves a slider up high, but it's taken for a strike. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Rosales is slugging a little under the 400 mark, so the chances of his connecting with the ball right here aren't particularly good. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. Takes this the other way to right, but this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. The pitcher number 40, Tommy Hunter. Aaron Altair will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 23, Aaron Altair. Slider right over the middle taken for a strike. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. Hit hard, but foul toward first, so he'll come back and line it up again. Now, this crowd of 36,000 plus come to their feet. And here's a sinker that had a little bit too much dart to it there as it just about came in and nailed him. I like that he tried to tie him up inside on that pitch, but it was a little bit of a risky situation because if you're off just a little bit, you can end up plunking a guy. That's the last thing you want to do when you've got a guy 0 and 2. Shot toward right center, and he makes the running catch followed by a full gainer. Ah, and this ball game is over. Hey, it always feels good to win a baseball game, but when you can win one at home in front of your home crowd, all those fans cheering, this is a good win for this team. Four to two, the final score tonight. The Metropolitans jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Jason Vargas earns his first win of the season. Jerry Spamilia earns the save out of the bullpen, his third of the campaign. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious New York Mets. Four runs on nine hits. No errors. We left six men on base. For Philadelphia, two runs, nine hits, two errors. They left seven men on base.